And in his last fight, he had a very good win over Twin, uh, Trinidad Mendoza, the NABF champion. So he's uh, coming on all of a sudden, Hector Velasquez. At the age of 30, he's found his groove. Nine, one, and one in the last 11. And he seems very relaxed, chewing gum, <laughs> I believe, entering the ring. <laughs> you gotta have some chewing gum to relax you, Mario. Get the jaw, get the jaw going. <laughs> Get the reaction when he steps into the ring. A lot of support here in LA. Yes, sir, but a lot of booze from the Filipino contingent. By now, I think Freddie's probably put the pads down. <laughs> And you, and you notice, guys, when we did the last fight with uh, Pacquiao and Morales, both the Hispanic fans and the Filipino fans, both great fight fans, and there was no scuffles in the ring. They both respected the fighters. Here comes the idol of the Philippines. Extremely focused and determined tonight. A lot riding in here for him not to slip up against a tough opponent. And we all know what happens when you look past an opponent Yet sometimes. It's always a deadly trap. They send it up to Michael Buffer now for the introductions from Staples Center. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to... Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, USA. Where tonight, Bob Arum's top rank incorporated is proud to present Double Trouble, an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment. Brought to you in association with Integra Inmediata and AEG, along with HBO Sports. All belts sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission at ringside. The three judges scoring this first contest, Steve English, Alejandro Rochin, and Marty Salmon. And when the bell rings, the man inside the ring in charge of the action, referee Dr. Lou Moret. And now, 12 rounds of boxing. This is for the vacant WBC Super Featherweight International Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trimmed with green, official weight 130 pounds, professional record 42 victories, including 31 knockouts, 10 defeats, 2 draws, and 1 no contest. Thomas y Caballeros de Tijuana, Mexico, Hector Valesquez. the ring fighting out of the red corner wearing red official weight the same as his opponent 130 pounds professional record 39 victories including 30 knockouts with three defeats and two ballots even from general santo city philippines the three-time world champion manny pacman Shake hands and await the bell. Good luck. 
Final instructions. From our referee, oh, Dr. Lou Barrett. What a great story Manny Pacquiao's life has been from abject poverty in the Philippines. As a young boy, he lived in the mountains up until he was around 12, worked a vegetable okay, farm go. selling cigarettes in the streets in Manila. Ready? Ready? He was taken in by a military man, a former military man named Ernie, who's now one of his bodyguards. Basically, Manny and his brother were living in a cardboard box. Rich, look at him now. That is uh, truly the rags for riches story. And Pacquiao, on top of everything, as he digs the first left hook to the body. He's a great guy to be around, a lot of fun to be around. Just a and charming just, personality, learning to speak more English. Yes, he is, and he's doing quite well. He spoke English at the uh, press conference. Oh, you know what he day? said? His first words at the press conference in English, he looked out across the crowd, he said, have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> And then let me plug my movie. Yeah, yeah, let me plug my movie. Velasquez is going to press. You can count on that throughout this entire fight. Well, he's durable and tough. He's an aggressive fighter. And he's actually moving Pacquiao back in the early going. But the one thing about Pacquiao and it is, and many opponents find it surprising when they fight him, because they don't really realize how fast he hits with that straight left hand of his. And you're just looking at it right there. Manny has great speed of hand. Great speed, great power, and relentless. And he's one of the best conditioned athletes, I think, as far as the boxers are concerned. First round scheduled for 12. Both fighters in their history come out strong. The interesting thing about Pacquiao, as far as his condition goes, is he doesn't like to have a good time between fights. And he might party some and get involved in some other things, etc. But then when training camp starts for the fight, I mean, that's it. So Velasquez, Velasquez has gone the distance twice in his career, lost them both. It's territory he doesn't like to get on. That hurt Pacquiao a little bit. Looked like it came up high in the chest, actually. But it knocked him back. Velasquez looks big in the ring with Pacquiao. And talking to each other. Velasquez enjoying some success here, moving Pacquiao back. Dangerous fighter, as we said. There's the speed of handle. Look at the difference. Nice by Velasquez. Velasquez, serious business. Pacquiao throwing that right. They clinch. Many in the crowd already on their feet. Well, it can't be a boring fight if Pac, the Pac-Man's in there. Stop, 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 stop. Limpio, limpio, clean. Crowd really into it here at Staples Center. I'll tell you what, these two are dangerously close uh, for getting a headbutt. Well, there was a clash of heads in there, and Pacquiao uh, shook his head, but no cuts open. Ooh, they're coming right together there. again. And Manny's prone to that. He charges in and out and darts in and out so often and so quickly. Final seconds, round one. Second. Yes, Blistering Lugo. fast, first round here at Staples Center. Good right hand for Velasquez. Velasquez is successful with that right hand. Yes, he is. And he looks no respect me. whatsoever. Velasquez looks like a guy who has fought southpaws in the past and knows how to fight them. Which, of course, the lead right hands are very effective against the southpaws and have a lot of success with man and oh, no. Now, don't wait on this guy so much. Don't let him be pushed. You be pushing your jab, okay? Yeah, right? You said, now, we need more head movement, okay? You got to move your head more. There's, there's two yeah. shades now, okay? Yeah. I want more head movement. La finta, por favor. Okay, y muy vivo. Los cambios de golpes, muy vivo. Tiene que ir adelante usted. Y tiene el ya, tiene el ya, y acóselo, acóselo. Fuera! My piece in, seconds out. I take, take a look. look. There's that head butt we talked about. You see, Pacquiao was, seemed to be affected by it. Remember, he was cut, uh, Alan, in the Morales, Morales, Morales fight. fight. Yes, fight. He, yes, he claimed a loss on that cut. He couldn't see, he said. Velasquez going to leave himself open like that, trying to make a statement and get popped. He needs to just focus on what he's got to do. You're a better fighter than him. Don't waste it. Don't waste your chance. Do you understand me? 
Pacquiao looking a little discouraged there in the corner as uh, Velasquez is just not going away and uh, looking at uh, without his guard being up. I wouldn't be surprised if Pacquiao's down two first two rounds. I know you have it split, Rich, but I wouldn't be surprised if they gave that round to Marquez. I too have it split. Velasquez, excuse me. No, 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 Olympia, Olympia. Break in, break in, come on. Velasquez got a great poker face in there. Sure does. His corner telling him he doesn't even know how to fight. Well, he must know how to do something. He's beating a lot of good fighters. Maybe not a classic fighter well, by any stretch well, of the imagination. Well, that's what I think that he meant. He's not obviously a conventional fighter. He just darts in and out. Defense isn't a top priority. No, no, He's no, all no, offense all the time. Any working jab. Velasquez not as busy this round. Limpio, limpio, limpio. You know, we got to remember, Pacquiao hasn't had too many fights at Super Featherweight. So Velasquez was not known for his power. When he does connect, it, it looks like it affects him. Right up, right, right to me. There's that quickness of Pacquiao. Velasquez hardly reacted to that. Now Manny beginning to get there with his straight left hand. And Manny can keep up this pace all night. And I know he's got his choice of gloves in there, the Reyes, I believe. Of course, that was a big bone of contention big. in the fight with Eric Morales. Right hand gets in. The speed of Pacquiao beginning to take effect now and beginning to tell. And he's getting to Velasquez in this round. Nice dig to the body by Pacquiao. Velasquez, times seems a little frustrated. You know, you're not always going to get what you want in there in terms of style. You're going to take what you're given. Right hand once again, Pacquiao. So quick. Nice looping left hand. You know, and fighters go in against Pacquiao with a certain game plan, but. When his speed starts to become an issue, and his power starts to become an issue, totally throws him off and they get extremely frustrated. Yeah, plus he's, he's just awkward enough to not do the usual thing that you train against. Pacquiao's getting on top of this fight now. Velasquez trying to work his way back in into the body. Velasquez is not reacting as well defensively as he did earlier, and he's not hitting back quite as often as he did earlier. 10 seconds, yes, absolutely. Solid round for Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, he dominated that round. <laughs> Julio Cesar Chavez. Great Chavez is here. Eric Morales hoping to someday become the second great Mexican to win in the weight division. Getting acknowledged by the crowd. First Freddy. All right, now we take a look at the action in round three. Pacquiao came back. You see the speed? Velasquez could hardly react to that. He tried to counter there, but to no avail. And Pacquiao's speed of hand beginning to take control of the fight. And that's what makes his power even more powerful because you're not expecting it when you get hit by him. That's exactly right. He threw that beautiful uppercut in Freddie Roach, of course, asking him to follow up with the left hook. Round three scheduled for 12 from Staples Center in Los Angeles. Manny Pacquiao from the Philippines in the red trunks with the flames. Hector Velasquez is in the white truck with the colors of Mexico. Left hand from Pacquiao. Right hand, lead, then a back. Velasquez fighting back. <laughs> Velasquez, as you talked about, Alan, has been in with a number of great uh, fighters. Uh, he's beaten some very good fighters. Uh, he's been in there though, with Robbie Peden, the current world champion. Israel Vasquez, a current world champion. Kevin Kelly, a former champion. He beat Raul Hebrew 